Yes, son, what is it? BKZ81, who's rooting for Drago this time around? Everyone. Everyone? Uh, the director, the writer, <laughs> the chicks in the audience. Exactly. Uh, me. Rob C. I'm so hyped for this movie. Though I gotta say, when Adonis says, these dudes killed my pops, I can't let that slide. With all due respect, Victor didn't do anything. Ha ha ha. <laughs> well, <laughs> He's right, father. <laughs> Those are not my problems, eh? Yes. It's your problems. He's very sensitive, this guy, you know. Like you said, his father was his a weakling. His father had, yeah, he's a weakling, he had a big mouth, I mean. Somebody <laughs> had to shut him up. John Paul Gonzalez, I will break you tomorrow. Okay. Goosebumps right there. Do I say that? No. Who says that? You say that. Yeah, but it took the line out. That's it. Oh. Uh, he must the, have read the script. The way in, oh, yeah. Where I tell him I will break you tomorrow. What about the one when I say you're, you're smaller than your father? Is that in the movie? Yeah, that's in the movie. Oh, okay. Jay Rossi. I like Victor's voice and the fact that he seems quiet like his father when he speaks. Granted, we've only heard one line from Victor, but I like that he sounds focused, quiet, and serious. Compared to, for example, for example, to Clubber Lang, who was almost always yelling. Well, that's true. You know, I auditioned for Rocky IV, and obviously the last picture before that was Rocky III. I was up against two other Russian guys in the final audition <clears throat> in Los Angeles, and I decided to play Drago quiet and kind of internal. You know, it was like, I had this monologue when it goes like, my name is Drago. I'm a fighter from the Soviet Union, starts like that. And all these other guys, I said, I, they said like, I'm Drago, I'm from the Soviet Union, I will kick your ass. Like it was like a club lang in Russian. Warlord rising, Thor was a Hulk, is child's play compared to this, the ultimate cinematic match. He's comparing us to superheroes. And actually we kind of look like superheroes. We're in the best shape of our lives, so over exaggerating but cool content. That you're not and you're not wearing a suit, it's real muscles. Okay, subtle beast. Dolph Lundgren is actually a champion martial artist. He was a legit fighter when playing Drago, not just an actor. Well that's right, yeah, I like Florian. We were both real fighters. I think what it is, he has good moves for a big guy. I had pretty good moves. I mean quick on my feet and pretty smooth, you know? Um, so not a big clumsy guy, and, and, he, and Florian is the same. He's very agile for his size, so make for, makes for a really cool uh, boxer. I uh, think also you, you said it earlier um, that Sly said that, you know, it's, it's easier to take a fighter and teach him acting than the other way around, you yeah. know, take an actor, teach him fighting. <sighs> For more from Creed 2, check out Adonis himself, respondents, mind you, and comments. And we've also got the cast of Fantastic Beasts doing it too.